is with a sense of pride, as well as some sadness, that I inform President Trump and Foreign Minister Ciardo that I will be stepping down as United States Ambassador to Hungary on November 1st. It has been an honor and a privilege to serve the country that I love in a country that I have come to cherish. I have found Hungary to be a wonderful place and the role of ambassador a truly life-changing experience. When President Trump asked me to take on this role, he charged me with improving our relationship. I am so proud of the work my team at the U.S. Embassy and I have done in order to make this happen. Our relationship has been cemented all the way to the highest levels with Secretary of State Pompeo visiting Budapest and President Trump hosting Prime Minister Orban at the White House last year. Both our leaders have also spoken on the phone multiple times since then, further deepening their ties as partners and friends. I'm also proud to have built a strong and productive working relationship with Hungary's leaders, beginning with Prime Minister Orban and across the government, which has helped us achieve so much together. And our relationship continues to grow in ways that ensure our shared security, our military cooperation cemented in the NATO framework has yielded results that enhance our safety, our security, and our partnership. In August, Hungary declared its intent to purchase nearly $1 billion in air defense systems to help fulfill its pledge to NATO. The system will modernize Hungary's defense capabilities to replace outdated Soviet-era systems and ensure interoperability with NATO allies for many years to come. We are also hard at work implementing the Defense Cooperation Agreement we signed last year. Our troops train together, eat together, donate blood together, serve together in defense of our shared security and values. That's what allies do. The United States and Hungary also have worked together to advance our shared priorities in the Middle East. In 2019, less than a year after the United States moved its embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, I was there as Hungary opened a trade mission in Jerusalem, the first European diplomatic mission to open there in decades. Hungary has raised its voice in support of the United States and Israel at the European Union and the United Nations. And most recently, just a few weeks ago, Foreign Minister Ciardo, the only EU foreign minister to be invited, and I together witnessed the signing of the historic Abraham Accords at the White House. Sure, not everything in my tenure has been as successful as I would have liked. There are some important issues that I've raised with Hungary's leaders and that I think will continue to matter in the future. I think it's important that Hungary diversify its energy sources away from Russia. They have begun to do so with commitments to buy LNG through the Kirk Terminal in Croatia which is an important start. Hopefully, Hungary and Ukraine will resolve their differences regarding Ukraine's language law and its relationship with NATO. I think the malign influence of Russia and China across the region is a matter of deep concern to all of us. And I still think that CEU's departure is a loss for Hungary, and I remain hopeful there can be a resolution in the future. These concerns are raised with Hungary's interest at heart as we seek to make our countries more secure and prosperous. Our bilateral relationship goes well beyond just security and prosperity, though. The arts are so important to Hungarians, 
and one of my fondest experiences was hosting the Kennedy Center Awards at my residence. What a wonderful moment that was as we pay tribute to this country's world-famous talent in the arts. Diplomacy at its heart is about people. As ambassador, it's been so wonderful to meet and speak with Hungarians across the country. I take with me fond memories of visiting the American Corner in Szeged, talking to alumni of our exchange programs, meeting with human rights NGO leaders and members of the Roma community, attending a photo exhibit of our summer work and travel participants' experiences of the United States, and so many other memories. Together with many Hungarians, we also have commemorated the long road to freedom, marking 30 years since the momentous events of 1989. And we unveiled the statue to President George Bush in Liberty Square, a fitting honor and tribute for a true hero who did so much to bring communist tyranny to an end across Europe. And in 1989, was the first sitting U.S. president to visit Hungary. But our bilateral relationship is so much more than just one person. Working with the entire U.S. Embassy Budapest team, both Americans and Hungarians, I am proud of how much we have accomplished together in strengthening our country's bonds as allies. Though I am departing Hungary, I look forward to watching our relationship flourish in the coming years and to visiting many, many more times in the future. I promise you, you will always have a warm, warm place in my heart.